Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel, Who Died Today America. In this video, we will be bringing you a list of famous actors who have passed away today, June 14th, and in the last few days. Additionally, we have some tributes planned for the second part of the video, so please stay tuned. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 1. Treat Williams, a prolific actor, passed away at age 71 due to a motorcycle accident on June 12, 2023. Williams was renowned for his remarkable versatility, with over 120 credits spanning across four decades. He shot to fame for his role as George Berger in the 1979 film Hair, earning a Golden Globe nomination, and later garnered acclaim for his performance in Prince of the City. Williams also touched the hearts of television audiences as Dr. Andrew Brown in the beloved series Everwood. His legacy as a dependable and gifted actor, with an array of roles ranging from Broadway adaptations to Hallmark films, cements his place in Hollywood as an endearing figure who brought depth and authenticity to his characters. Number 2. Stan Savron, a sports broadcasting titan in Pittsburgh, passed away at age 76 due to lung cancer on June 12, 2023. For nearly five decades, Savron's insightful commentary and encyclopedic sports knowledge, combined with his unique style and charisma, made him a fixture in the city's sports scene. He notably hosted Sports Beat, the longest-running sports talk show in the city's television history. Savron was admired for his journalistic integrity, never shying away from expressing strong opinions. His legacy lies not only in his extensive body of work, but also in his enduring impact on sports journalism in Pittsburgh. His passing marks the end of an era, but his indelible contributions to sports broadcasting will forever be etched in the city of champions. Number 3. Michael C. Catt was a Southern Baptist pastor and Christian film producer who passed away at the age of 70 due to complications from prostate cancer on June 12, 2023. He was instrumental in launching Sherwood Pictures, a production company based at Sherwood Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia. Under his guidance, Sherwood Pictures produced several highly successful Christian films such as Flywheel in 2003, Facing the Giants in 2006, and the critically acclaimed Fireproof in 2008. With a keen sense for producing faith-based films that resonated with audiences, Michael C. Catt helped create a new era of Christian cinema. His vision and dedication to counter Hollywood's secular messages with films carrying explicit faith themes have had a lasting impact on the Christian film industry. According to cultural observers, his contribution to Christian filmmaking was comparable to the influence of the late evangelist Billy Graham. Number 4. Magda Saleh Egypt's first prima ballerina and a fervent advocate of the arts, passed away on June 11, 2023, in Cairo. Recognized as a cornerstone of Egyptian ballet, Saleh's illustrious career spanned several decades, and her unrelenting dedication to the arts had a profound impact on the field. From her early training to her pivotal role as a scholarship student at Moscow's Bolshoi Ballet, and her tenure at the Cairo Ballet Company, Saleh left an indelible mark on the dance world. Beyond her performances, Saleh's passion for Egyptian culture and dance led her to complete a PhD on Egyptian ethnic dance traditions, further showcasing her intellectual curiosity and commitment to her craft. As a professor, dean, and the founding director of the New Cairo Opera House, she nurtured future generations of dancers and significantly influenced the artistic landscape. Even in her later years, Saleh remained active, promoting Egyptian artists from her home in New York. Magda Saleh's enduring legacy will remain an inspiration for dancers and artists, testament to her lifelong passion and substantial contributions to the world of dance. Number 5. Jim Turner, the former NFL kicker famed for his vital contribution to the New York Jets' Super Bowl III victory, passed away at the age of 82 due to heart failure on June 10, 2023. Turner's impeccable kicking, which included three field goals, was instrumental in the Jets' 16. 7 triumph over the Baltimore Colts in 1969. He spent seven seasons with the Jets and later starred for the Denver Broncos from 1971 through 1979. Throughout his career, he never missed a game and amassed 304 field goals, scoring a total of 1,439 points. He was inducted into the Broncos' Ring of Fame in 1988. 
After his playing days, Turner remained an active member of the Denver community and served as an academic coach in the National Football Foundation's Play It Smart program. His enduring legacy as a clutch performer in the NFL will continue to inspire future generations. Number six, Franz Leichter, a former New York State legislator and progressive advocate, passed away at age 92 due to congestive heart failure, pneumonia, and end-stage renal failure on June 11, 2023. A former refugee, Leichter represented Manhattan and was known for his forward-thinking stance on issues such as abortion rights, same-gender marriage, and the decriminalization of marijuana, pushing for reforms long before they gained broader acceptance. His tenacity and vision contributed significantly to the eventual passing of landmark legislation in these areas within the state of New York. Through his unwavering commitment to progressive causes, Leichter left a lasting impact on social justice and civil liberties in New York and beyond, and his legacy will be remembered as that of a true advocate for change and equality. Number 7. Eric Kokish, a renowned bridge player and coach, passed away at the age of 76 after a long illness on June 11, 2023. Born in Montreal, Kokish had an illustrious career in the world of bridge. He won the Vanderbilt in 1974 with the youngest team ever, and secured silver in the 1995 Bermuda Bowl in Beijing. Additionally, he was a part of the 1978 World Open Pairs Championship finishing second. Not just a player, Kokish gained fame as an outstanding bridge coach, guiding various teams to success, including the legendary squad captained by Nick Nickel. He was also a prolific writer and contributed immensely to bridge literature by authoring books and articles and providing detailed analysis of games. Kokish was inducted into the ACBL Hall of Fame and was a member of the Canadian Hall of Fame. His contributions to Bridge, especially in the development of strategies and systems, and his warm and engaging personality, have left an indelible mark in the Bridge community worldwide. Number 8. Pedro Massone was a celebrated Chilean folklorist who passed away at the age of 83. Masoni's illustrious career in folk music was marked by his profound contributions to Latin folklore. He was a member of the group Los Cuatro Cuartos and later formed Los de las Condes, which gained fame for the song El Corralero at the Vina Festival in 1965. His solo career blossomed with the release of his album El Solitario in 1966, which featured hits such as Pa Deep into the Sea and El Arriero. A National Folk Music Award recipient in 2018, Masone's legacy as a pillar of Chilean folk music continues to resonate with enthusiasts and artists, as he played a crucial role in contextualizing Chilean music within a broader global tapestry. Number 9. Virgil Lucan, a former University of Minnesota swimmer and Olympian, passed away at the age of 80 on June 10, 2023. Lucan was a standout in college swimming, capturing Big Ten titles and an NCAA title in the 200-yard breaststroke as a gopher. His talent took him to the 1964 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, where he was part of the U.S. team that set an Olympic record in the 400-meter medley relay preliminaries. However, he didn't receive a gold medal as he did not participate in the finals. Lucan's prowess in the pool continued in later years, he earned 12 National Masters titles and was honored with inductions into the University of Minnesota Aquatics Hall of Fame in 1986 and the M Club Hall of Fame in 2004. His contributions to swimming and his legacy as a decorated athlete leave an indelible mark on the sport. Number 10. Suna Khan, a celebrated violinist and state artist of Turkey, passed away at the age of 86. Known for her enchanting mastery of the violin and notable contribution to Turkey's musical heritage, Khan's enduring legacy began when she was sent to study at the prestigious Paris Conservatory under the unique Wonder Child Law, enacted by the Turkish government in 1948. Upon her return to Turkey in 1957, her career flourished as she served as both soloist and chief violinist of the Presidential Symphony Orchestra, earning her recognition and acclaim worldwide. Her contributions to music were recognized in 1971 when she was bestowed the title State Artist. Suna Khan's passing leaves a void in the world of classical music, but her remarkable legacy continues to inspire and influence generations of musicians and music lovers worldwide. Number 11. Stefan Pelger, an influential Romanian fashion designer and advocate for sustainable practices, 
was tragically found dead in his Bucharest home on May 13, 2021. Renowned for his eponymous fashion label established in 2002, Helger's bold designs characterized by clean lines, vibrant colors, and distinct shapes pushed the boundaries of fashion, making him a staple at international fashion weeks and a go-to for celebrities. Beyond his role as a designer, Helger was a mentor to budding designers, shaping the future of the industry in Romania and beyond. His commitment to sustainable fashion, integrating eco-friendly materials and methods into his work, marked a significant contribution to reducing the fashion industry's environmental footprint. While the circumstances of his death are still being investigated, Helger's innovative design philosophy and commitment to sustainability will continue to influence and inspire the fashion industry for generations to come. Number 12. Yoshikazu Kawaguchi, a respected Japanese farmer and pioneer of natural farming, passed away in 2023. Known for his devotion to sustainable farming practices and environmental consciousness, Kawaguchi spent over 30 years practicing and promoting natural farming in Sakurai City, Nara Prefecture. He shared his knowledge and passion through the Akame Natural Farming School he founded in 1991, shaping the future of countless farmers and advancing a more eco-friendly approach in agriculture. His impact extended beyond Japan, influencing the global environmental justice movement and educating many in North America about sustainable farming practices, particularly through the 2015 documentary, Final Straw, Food, Earth, Happiness. Yoshikazu Kawaguchi's enduring legacy rests in the flourishing fields cultivated by his students and in the vital principle he championed, that humans can and should farm in harmony with nature. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.